agreed we wouldn't say anything to anyone. But you know, I just don't know anymore. No, it was for the best. You were right. Was I? I mean, what if the police catch up with him and it all comes out? Chris said we should never have trusted Ray. What's he going to say when he finds out that it might bring the law down on the company? Well, let's hope that we never find out. I mean, it's for the best. If we just keep our heads down and say nothing, it'll all blow over. No, I can't do that. I am going to have to talk to Ray. You're the boss. But as you said, they could close the company down over this and you and me could end up inside. We agreed. The less said, the better. Morning, Terry. Chris, um, look, I really need to talk to you. <clears throat> Later, darling. I've got a busy morning ahead, thanks to you. Right, are you ready to take me to the hall, John? Yeah, of course. We'll talk at lunchtime. Yeah, great. Come on, Terry. Perhaps I was being a bit too cautious, but we can put all that behind us now. Look towards a profitable future for us both. I thought you weren't coming till later. Yeah, well, um, I decided it was too urgent to wait. Perhaps you could excuse us for a moment. Sure. I've said all I need to say. I'll be in touch with the details of the next load. There's nothing wrong, is there? Look, you said we shouldn't trust Ray. Well, I was wrong to persuade you to work with him. On the contrary, it makes perfect business sense. He brought us a lucrative contract and the promise of plenty more. Yeah, but maybe your first instincts were right. Maybe we should stay clear from him in the future. I don't get this. You said you had something urgent to discuss, and all you're doing is telling me something I already know. Ray is a dodgy character, so what? His money's as good as anyone's. Right, so supposing the Lord wasn't quite how he told us. So long as we carried it in good faith, I don't think we could be held responsible. I'm not talking about building materials. Not drugs. No! People. Illegal immigrants. Have you any idea of the penalties that carries? Well, that's why I didn't know what to do. Me and Terry, we talked about going to the police, but... So it... He knows about this too? Well, we were worried that if we said anything, it might bring the company down. It's not just the company, Charity. You could be spending our wedding anniversary in prison. Who else knows? Well, it's not been in papers or on news, so I, I presume they've got clean away. Well, that's his problem. All that matters to us is keeping you and the company out of this. So, so what do I do? You do nothing, you say nothing. Have you got that? Look, Chris, uh, about Ray... I told you, it never happened. You better make sure that truck's hosed down inside and out. I don't want any trace of anything that might be incriminating. Yeah, well, you're right, right, I'll go and do that now. Sorry to call unannounced. Oh, we're not interrupting anything. No, I, I've got work to be getting on with. How's Rodney? Itching to get back to work, but I persuaded him to leave it a while longer. By then, I'll be ready to take the company from under his nose. If we all haven't been arrested by then. Now, I was under the impression that I paid your wages, which I thought would entitle me to a bit of loyalty from you. Well, of course it does. Then why didn't you tell me about this straight away? Look, it was my fault. I told him not to say anything. And I seem to remember you saying something about no secrets and no lies on our wedding day. I'm sorry. I guess I thought I was the one that got us into this mess, persuading you to take the load that I ought to be the one to get us out of it. You have had plenty of success with Tate Trash but you still have got a hell of a lot to learn about business. When you're up, there is always someone ready to drag you down. Ray Mullen. Oh, Dad and I have dealt with worse than him in the old days. So, I think I can keep us out of this. Look at him chatting to her, like butter wouldn't melt. He's certainly a smooth operator. You know, I'd like to wipe that smug smile right off his face. I wish there was some way I could warn her about him. Well, maybe I should have a word. No, the boss said that we Yeah, would... your boss, Terry, my husband. I can't just sit and be the obedient little wife, waiting for him to sort out my mistakes. No, I've got to have it out with Ray. Chris ain't gonna like that. Right, so don't tell him then. I think it's really good of you letting them use your house for committee meetings. Well, it makes sense. Look after the community, and then when you need them, maybe they'll remember. I can't imagine why you would ever need them. Maybe a little bit of peace and quiet when you and I want to be on our own. That's nice. Listen, I better head off. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye bye. Right, I'm going to go after him. Have it out. Hey, you can't do that. Look, I've made up my mind. I'm doing it. 
Right, well, if you're going, I'll come with you, in case it turns nasty. Oh, Terry, I'm a big girl. I can handle it. And anyway, this way, you can tell Chris that you knew absolutely nothing about it. Can I get you a drink? No, actually, I just want some answers. You seem very steamed up about something. Oh, you bet I am. You know, there was a woman hiding on the truck last night. Said she paid someone to smuggle her into the country, and she wasn't on her own. Have you been carrying illegals? Do you realise how serious that is? Oh, right, and you knew nothing about it? Of course not. My guess is they snuck onto the truck just before you drove onto the ferry. Well, that's impossible because we never left the truck. Charity, I'm not blaming you. These people are desperate and that makes them cunning enough to find a way. Yeah, and maybe there was someone helping them. Maybe. And that'll all come out in the investigation, with which I assure you you have my full cooperation. You did report it to the police, didn't you? I knew nothing about this. I told you. But now that you've brought it to my attention, I'm going to have to go to the police. Otherwise, I'm implicated as much as you are. Of course, there'll be a lot of awkward questions. Especially since you didn't report the incident immediately. Mud sticks, Charity. Which is a pity, since your business is doing so well. What does Chris think you should do? He says we should keep quiet um, say nothing. Hope that it all blows over. There's a lot of sense in that. Especially where you and I are concerned. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, you and I have a lot in common, Charity. Both started with nothing, made something of ourselves. All we'd be doing is offering a few sad, desperate people the chance to do the same. Maybe we should keep this our little secret.